Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out on the Tenere 700 and uh, just um, exploring some uh, B roads and I just thought uh, I'd bring you guys along. Might be a nice little ride to uh, the key years to uh, dodge some uh, people flying around the corners because these roads are super narrow. It is a, uh, a nice uh, high temperature here in the UK and everyone and his dog is out. What is the temperature now? 24 degrees. It's actually perfect for riding. But they, uh, like yesterday and the whole week before this, this was like 31 degrees. So it's like super warm. But yeah, I'm just out on the Tenere. Um, just a quick feedback. Um, the bike has got 1,100 miles on and uh, still enjoying it i must say um, just on the comfort on the comfort side um, it's 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 not as comfortable um, compared to my uh, tiger 660 and then also my tiger 900 or the 850 for that matter it's a uh, let me just quickly check where i want to go Hampstead, get into the right gear and go. So, yeah, so, uh, just to carry on with that, that thought, um, it's not as comfortable as um, the other bikes I had previously. Um, the seating position and being my back being straight and my arms being bent, that's that's really relaxed and. Uh, and maintainable um, but uh, the seat comfort is is uh, is not king <laughs> I would say it's a it's a it's a maximum hour hour ride and then uh, and then the bum starts getting uh, numb uh, yes you can stand or whatever I'm just giving you guys some feedback and that is compared to the stock uh, Tiger 660 and uh, the Tiger 900, where where I spent uh, quite a lot of uh, miles in, and uh, also if you think about the GS GS uh, seats, the so GS seats are just uh, uh, way way more uh, comfortable because uh, the they they come with really nice seats. Ooh, I think we need to go up here. Watch out for the lady. Then we can go. I have today my uh, daughter on the back. She, uh, we managed to get a, a new helmet. You can see there in the mirror. <laughs> she's uh, she's loving the uh, fillion position on the Tenere. Um, it's got the two seats. Where the um, again, where the 660 um, had a slanted seat, so you would uh, you would slide forward. You would slide forward compared to this seat being very flat. Um, it makes it much more comfortable. We did. You just you just keep on going, man. See, on the comfortable side for the seat wise it is uh, it is not as comfortable as any of the other bikes that I've had um, and just another note I am 5 foot 11 178 centimeters and uh, this bike is tall um, I actually went to have a look at a, a low seat option yesterday I sat on the seat you can't really uh, sort of tell how it is when you sit on the seat um, the seat lowers it by about what is it about two centimeters and uh, it felt like I can be more on the uh, flatter on the balls of my feet but I'm still not flat footing the bike now I don't really want to change the linkage to make it uh, lower but uh, it might be an option you never you never know the, the linkage change to make it lower is, uh, is sort of 
not that much more if you buy it as a package no seat and linkage drop um, it's just um, I was uh, stuck in the traffic I was stuck in the traffic uh, last last week doing uh, about eight miles back home and uh, road works and I couldn't filter and, and, and just standing standing in the traffic I was just uh, mad absolutely mad and uh, having a tall bike where you can't come to put your feet uh, on the ground makes it uh, very tough uh, I was sweating it was 30 degrees the sun was baking no wind and uh, yeah I was just like I was just breathing very shallow to uh, to not uh, overheat the system well my system at least the bike handled it fine the fans came on cooled the bike down and off I went but yeah so uh, I'm looking at the low seat option with even the linkage dropping it um, for the riding that I'm going to be doing slight gravel and then mostly road um, I think that would be good you never know but I'll keep you guys posted but yeah, I think um, just the seat. I think just the just lowering the seat is not going to be enough. And this is sort of again where the uh, Tiger 660 and even the 800 uh, starts at a lower at a lower seat that makes it uh, much easier to handle. But again, if you keep moving on the bike and you are doing uh, exploring and whatever that's good if you're going to do gravel riding and you're not a, uh, a tall rider and uh, sort of uh, knee rider to a mid to a mid rider um, and you are uh, going to be tech doing technical uh, 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 trails man it's a it's a tall beast so uh, yeah, just some feedback on that. So I'll do a full bit of feedback on 2,000 miles to let you guys know. And uh, yeah, but uh, the engine as well, you know, um, it's uh, it's very uh, um, it's very smooth uh, when you when you get it going. But like if you gear down and you let it go, uh, uh, sort of slow down, like like this now. And fourth third get the revs up it's always good to have good revs up but uh, you need to really be smooth on the throttle to get a really smooth uh, ride or uh, no, not a smooth ride a, a smooth pickup um, just because it's uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very um, low in torque and it uh, sort of just wants to jump forward compared to the ride by wire where uh, um, it's just uh, it's just much more uh, smoother but again guys this is stuff that um, just that I'm it's just my thoughts um, it's not that I'm a, uh, a, a super experienced rider I've been riding for a long time but um, it's been uh, and mostly adventure bikes so uh, so yeah just 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 some thoughts for um, I would say probably the mid-range riders you now I'm not a massive off-road rider I've, I've done a lot of off-roading but that was mostly in South Africa um, but it's just just sort of my just sort of my thoughts for someone looking to just buy this bike to buy an adventure bike style bike and so forth um, if you sit on the motorway I would say whew, I was on the motorway this morning for an hour and a half just doing a stint before I do my loop back into the countryside and uh, yeah you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very very relaxed riding very comfortable on the motorway and um, sitting at 70-75 uh, miles per hour it's about just over 5000 rpm bike doesn't feel like it's underpowered it's got enough power to overtake as well absolutely great and a, a good enough amount of wind protection I did also find that uh, 
in like the 30 mile an hour, 30 and 40 mile an hour zones. Uh, being in fourth gear is probably your best. It's probably your best friend. It's uh, not too jerky to get it back um, to spool up again. The revs is too low, but uh, and it doesn't rev too high to uh, sound like you stuck in first gear. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear the bike. Sounds very nice, really nice. Even the stock exhaust sounds sounds good. Um, there's loads of aftermarket accessories for this bike that uh, that you can uh, what do you call it spend your money on. So uh, I'm looking at a uh, maybe an up uh, upgraded uh, exhaust, uh, but. Uh, I still want to see, I still want to see, I still want to get more used to the bike, more riding time. But yeah, so um, yesterday we we went to uh, Hot Motorcycles to go and check out this low seat option and also to see if we can find a uh, extra small helmet for my daughter and uh, we managed to find a, a shark helmet that's even lighter than my Schubert uh, C3 Pro and uh, it's perfect size and they had a special on it so it was a it was a win-win situation great stuff man super impressed with that it's got a visor in it's got pin lock um, it's got all the bells and whistles vents front to rear uh, nice mechanism for uh, dropping the the visor um, soundproofing is good the fit was good and uh, the most important bit is that the, the design uh, on the helmet was absolutely awesome and I'll put a little photo uh, in in here so you guys can see how it looks like but yeah if you uh, shop around you can really get a, a nice looking helmet for uh, or not so much money. Um, I've got a uh, Schubert C3 Pro, and I must say I'm, I'm, I'm a very much a shoey helmet uh, uh, head, I think. But uh, this helmet has not been uh, been the greatest, and uh, I'm not trying to get a, a new clear a clear visor. And the clear visors are on a seven-week waiting waiting list, so. Uh, to replace that but I think also my helmet is coming up to five years and uh, what uh, what they suggest is after five years you should start looking at a new helmet so um, uh, I'm looking at maybe a uh, also a shark but the helmet that flipped the chin guard right over the front so I can use it as a open face helmet but there are, there's so many helmets available now I just really enjoy a, uh, a lighter helmet and with a Sherbeth where you can fold it open in the front it's great but uh, man you can't really uh, you can't ride like that it's not sort of approved to ride like that where the shark you can flip the whole chin bar away and it's, uh, and it's all good so yeah so far uh, super happy with the, with the bike um, I am gonna be um, speaking to the guys from a nice CNC uh, soon because they uh, they've got a few other bits and bobs that I would like to add to the uh, to the bike um, so if you guys are interested in uh, upgrades or additional uh, little protection bits and bobs for your bike uh, check out the guys at nice CNC um, you can check uh, get the details down in the description below, but I'll also link it into uh, Into the top of this video so you can see it see the website But yeah, their stuff is really nice and uh, the key about it. It is uh, very affordable compared to the other ones um, Another site as well that I found is Temu. I think a lot of people know about Temu um, this stuff is really well priced and uh, it takes a little bit longer to ship but um, you know, I, was, I was looking at some Fox uh, mountain bike gloves 
that I usually use for riding my EUCs. And uh, you know, a, a set of Fox gloves cost about 35 to 45 pounds if you buy it in a cycling shop. Um, and then uh, they're selling it for five pounds. Um, I don't know how they get it right. So um, it's, it's, it's got all the gel on the palms and all that lovely stuff as well. And a lot of people have given feedback that it uh, feels very original. So I don't know how they get that right. Maybe it's old stock or something. But man, you can pick up some really, really good deals by uh, checking out Temu. Um, I'm looking for a, uh, what do you call it, like a bag for my uh, leg, a leg bag where I can put in all my camera equipment um, rather than a backpack and uh, they've got loads of options for that as well. I actually bought one and it came back, it was a uh, Alpine Stars one and uh, then my dad uh, bought it from me so uh, because he couldn't get it in South Africa. So check out uh, Nice CNC and Temu um, if you don't already know about those two those two sites for all sorts of motorbike stuff and mountain bike stuff and so forth. I must say uh, I'm very happy with uh, how the bike handles. It feels like really light. And I think you know um, this is sort of for me the key um, of a of of, of these, this type of bikes. Now, um, as I said, this bike is very tall, so it makes me a bit uncomfortable. Um, but for uh, uh, taller taller riders, man, if you can, uh, uh, it, it's just the the agility of the bike is absolutely brilliant. A lot of people say the bike is top heavy. I've, I don't really experience that at all. Um, there's a few other things that uh, uh, the shift is a little bit more forward so uh, I get some miss shifts but uh, I've, I've gotten used to that so um, that's, that's perfect um, yeah so far really enjoying the bike uh, but as I said you know, like, like now I was out for a two hour ride this morning now I'm out for another uh, hour hour ride with my daughter and uh, you know now I've just been back on the bike now for about 40 minutes and my bum is starting to ache and I think with the lower seat I did feel the lower seat the, uh, the lower seat has got the same amount of cushioning but it's got um, it's just shaped differently so it's shaped more narrow uh, so it makes it easier to put your feet down so it's like a sharper seat so there guys um, I hope you enjoyed this little ride and uh, you also time, get time to uh, ride your bikes uh, wherever you are watching um, I hope the what do you call it uh, the audio is not that bad I've been fiddling around with different mics and setups and whatever but uh, I hope this is okay so i can uh, push it out okay well thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video cheers guys bye